Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Ronald. And this is the Ron's World. We talk about the topics on everybody's mind, but nobody takes the time to talk about. And today, we are talking about the right way to hang your shirts in the closet. Ronald, how do you do this? The first thing I do is I look around and see where my shirts landed on the floor. Find a hanger, find an open spot in your closet, and stuff her in. Voila! No, that is not the right <laughs> way to okay, do it. Okay, Ronnie, you show us. First off, look at this thing. It's completely wrinkled and messy. So the first thing you do is, why is your shirt on the floor, by the way? Like, how did that even happen? That's a whole other show. <laughs> so, number one, don't have your, floor on, your shirt on the floor. Number two, when you hang your shirt, especially a dress shirt like this, you want to make sure that the first button and also the third button is cleanly and neatly done. And the reason for this is really important. When you hang your shirt, you want to make sure that it doesn't flop over and create a wrinkle here, okay, like Ronnie, many of your shirts. Ronnie, 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 Ronnie. Okay, just, uh, let's look at this. Uh, this wrinkle you're talking about won't be there after you've worn it for five minutes. The body creates some natural heat. It's gonna de-wrinkle your shirt. All these wrinkles <laughs> right here, gone in five minutes. Oh my goodness, dry cleaners beware. Ronald is on to your secret that the body is a natural iron. Okay, let's be realistic here. Now You don't need to buy an iron. <laughs> another important part about this is how you organize your shirt. See, I am all about efficiency. Not efficiency and maybe it takes a second or two longer to get it in the closet, but when I come in to wear my shirt, I want to know where to find it. Well, how do you select what to wear in a given day? <clears throat> Uh, that one, <laughs> okay. right there. That guy uh, right this there. Is, this is the, I actually didn't even need to ask the question. Our audience already knows that. So what I like to do is make sure everything is organized. I like it to be organized by either pattern or color. And in this case, what I'd probably do is I'd organize all the stripes together so they're all down in one end. I, I, this is ridiculous. It's like I got let, shirts let me help you out here. others. So I put all the stripes down on one side. So that way when I come in, you know, let's say I'm coming in tomorrow and I need a striped shirt for a meeting. I know right where my striped shirts are and I can pick the one that matches my pants. <laughs> Ronnie, you have the assumption that our audience, or me, uh, we actually care if we're wearing stripes or solids on any given day. I'm really more about, about a spontaneous lifestyle, Ronnie, and I know our audience would agree with me on that. Leave your comments down below. Let me, let me know about that. Let's say tomorrow or next week I'm coming in and I'm looking for a specific shirt. I know right where it is. I don't have to spend time. So I am actually saving time in the future by spending a little bit of time right now. My recommendation, Ronnie, you got to live in the moment. And I know <laughs> our audience would agree with this. You spend less time in, in your closet organizing and color coding, trying to figure out what you're going to wear. You're going to enjoy your life more. You actually have more time to enjoy yourself the rest of the day. Oh, goodness. All right, so listen, I don't know what any of you are thinking, but you, many of you probably are thinking that there's a lot of ways to organize your closet. There's the right way, there's the Ronald way, and maybe you have a different way. So please leave those ideas down below in the comments section. And also, if you have other topics you'd like us to discuss, leave those in the comments below as well. I'm Ronald. And I'm Ronnie. And this is the Ron's World.